It's no secret, graphics is a category where Unity has never beaten Unreal. However, for the past couple of years now, Unity's tech demos have seemingly demonstrated that while it can't beat Unreal in terms of graphics, it can all but match them. With that said, having used Unity for years and all but mastering most areas of Unity in terms of 3D graphics, lighting, and rendering, we wanted to test this theory ourselves using, as of this video, the latest version of Unity's high-definition pipeline, Universal Render Pipeline, against Unreal 5's Lumen. So in this series of videos, we'll break down scenes, environments, characters, props, and game assets rendered in Unity's universal and high render definition pipeline, and compare them to the exact same scene rendered in Unreal 5. But unlike most videos or articles you may find comparing the two engines, these videos were designed to be a true one-to-one -one test and comparison. Meaning, we won't use any game assets from the asset store or marketplace, since many professionally developed assets such as ArcViz, Megascans, and many others are specifically designed and created to highlight an engine's strength or hide an engine's shortcomings. Instead, we'll only use our own original assets. This way, we can ensure that the models, textures, materials, and material settings are exactly the same for each engine and render pipeline. With that said, Let's first look at the scene in Unity using the Universal Render Pipeline. For this test, we created a medieval church scene from one of our upcoming asset packs. The chapel itself is made up from a modular set of assets which consist of six materials. To get the best look possible, we used 4096 by 4096 maps for the Environment Chapel Texture Maps and 2048 by 2048 textures for the maps of our props. For lighting, for each window we used aerial lights in order to simulate light coming in from the windows, as well as point lights to simulate the shine of the light below the windows and another to simulate the light bouncing from the window to the walls. For the daytime scene, we used a total of 30 lights, as well as a directional light for the sun and a custom HDRI. For the night scene, we used the same number of lights plus the lights in each candle or torch particle system. For both the day and nighttime scene, we used a standard light setup with both reflection and light probes. For the night scene, we first baked our shadows and after baking turned the candle and torch lights to real-time lights without shadows. We also exported each reflection probe map then brought them into Photoshop to increase the exposure for better lighting in dark areas as well as darkening areas that were previously overexposed. Something to keep in mind, the texture maps we used for the environment assets are 4096 by 4096 and set as such within Unity. Lastly, the combined total time it took to generate the light maps for both our URP day and URP night scene was over an hour. Next, we'll look at the scene in Unity's high-definition render pipeline. For the day scene in Unity's HDRP, we only needed 16 lights, which were area lights for each window and one directional light for the sun. For the candles and marble casket, we used HDRP's subsurface material attribute creating a custom profile for both our candle and marble. Something to note, in Unity despite the fact an object has a transparent surface, in most cases, light won't pass through it properly so you may need to turn off cast shadows for that mesh. For example, to achieve the shadow pattern of the circular frame of our upper stained glass window with cast shadows on, we'll simply get a circular shadow, but by turning cast shadows off, we can get the proper shadow effect. We again used a standard scene and lighting setup, using both light probes, reflection probes, and a custom HDRI sky for ambient light. The combined total time it took to generate the light maps for both our HDRP day and night scene was about 30 minutes. Lastly, we'll show the same exact scene with the same exact models, textures, and material settings in Unreal. 
For this scene, we use lumen for global illumination and reflections. So for this scene, we simply set our lights to stationary and didn't bake light maps. We kept many of our lumen settings at their default, but used a custom HDRI for our ambient light opposed to using Unreal Sky. To make sure everything was truly one-to-one, -one, we lay out and create our lightmap UVs within our 3D modeling program of choice, opposed to having Unreal or Unity create them for us. Both our shaders in Unity and our master material in Unreal use the exact same nodes, and the textures were exported with identical settings. And we also only use the post-processing effects that are available in both Unity and Unreal, and didn't use rate racing for either engine. Since we used subsurface scattering in HDRP, we also created a material using the subsurface profile in Unreal. Additionally, for the fire and smoke we used the same animated sprite sheets. Something to note, since out of all three renderers, URP is the least powerful, we spend about three to five times longer lighting and rendering our light maps in order to get them as close as possible to HDRP or Lumen. And though we show it first, we always do our URP scene last in order to try to match what we feel was the best result out of Lumen or HDRP. What do you think? Did Unity finally match or surpass Unreal in terms of graphics? We'll share our thoughts on which engine we felt did the best job in the final video of the series, but let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And whatever you do, always remember, don't just play, create.